on Monday night. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. Sheds off the tackle. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Well, the Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, Tua Tungabailoa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. In motion, Hill. On play action, here's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? On the ground, this is Devon Achan. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Two are going to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The L.A. offense going to go to work for the first time, and it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. Stafford is one of those quarterbacks who didn't get the credit he deserved for the majority of his career due to the fact he's playing on teams that often didn't make the playoffs. But that narrative emphatically changed when he changed his surroundings and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He's had a few injuries in the intervening years, but now that he's fully healthy, he plans on getting his team back into the championship conversation. Now Stafford. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Here's Stafford. It's Williams on the catch. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. The 
Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Here's Tua. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 41, here's second and three. Up the middle, a champ. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. In motion left is Beckham. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. A run straight ahead with HM. Able to slither by. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now Tua on the bootleg here. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Throwing now is Chunga Mailoa. Oh, and that is incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. On the handoff, it's HM. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need ten yards out of it on third. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Waddle, the motion man, right. A-Chan is into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. A 10-play drive that time. And the drive finished off with a touchdown run from Devon Achan. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> now a second and ten. Stafford connecting with Cup here on the out route and he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds four yards the gain and it'll bring up a third down they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Calais Campbell finding his way home for the sack. Chalked that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. Ethan Evans on now to punt. Taking it about the 36. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Looking to pass to him. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Going to the air, Tugga Bailoa. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. In motion left, Hill. Now Achan on first and 10. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. Now Hill. And this is not going to work as planned. It'll be blown up behind the line. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. From the gun, it's Tua. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Look that one in, and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape with a first and goal. A-Chan. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Did your high school have that same push him back, push him back cheer? I was a kicker. Well, it's, it was certainly worked. Didn't matter whether we were kickers or not. That one worked, didn't it? They pushed him back at his last snap of the ball, and boy, they created a nice play for themselves. Would they lose three on that one? Yeah, from the one back to the four. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. 
But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll run it. HN with it. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Devon HN with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Dolphins lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Stafford. That's to the second year man, Puka Nakua. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Here's a second and five as they've got it as we resume action. Throwing a Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup, And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He's got it with the 15. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Demarcus Robinson, 52 yards. And the Rams have cut it back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over, 
This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Here's second and seven now from the 28. In motion, Hill. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. Short throw to Smith. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. And they'll give this day a chance. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 70 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Tua sets up to pass it. Escaping the pressure. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's a chance. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. In motion, Hill. On play action, here's Tua. He'll dump this off to HM. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35.
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. To throw is Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play... He joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Off of play action, here's Stafford. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's eyes being an advantage. They were hoping he could go up the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Now we give up the middle to Williams. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Back to throw, Stafford. That is caught, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision, and boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Up the middle, it's Williams. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Second and eight coming from the 19. Here's Stafford. What? And receiver complete. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Williams diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. I feel like I'm back in school. What was that book, you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This has been a tale of two quarters so far. They trailed 14 to nothing after one. How about the rally we've been watching? Yeah, a couple of touchdowns. P.A.T. here to tie it up. This is a good ball game all of a sudden. Extra point attempt to follow here. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins offense and running back Devon Achan making their way back out. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big hole after big hole to run through in this first half. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at them, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. Now Tua. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and ten. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Two are going to throw. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Smith to return it. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got momentum on their side. They were once down 14-0. Now it's even at 14 as they look to put together a drive to get them the lead. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, it's Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45-yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. Here we go with Williams. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's Stafford. And incomplete on the deep ball. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Here's second and 10. Now Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Puka Nakua from 13 yards out. And the Rams will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Now the extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. He's got Smith here. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. 
These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Mm -hmm. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Stafford, they'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. The first down screen pass, good for five. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored him, and that time worked well for a solid gain. The final shot before the break, Stafford. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And he's got it inside the 10. And he's gonna be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Now it's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five.
from the gun. It's a run for Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 43, here's second down and one. Again, it's Williams. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing is Stanford. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. A shotgun snap for Stafford. A quick pass to Cup, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Stafford now to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. To throw is Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a the loss. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HN. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third and three. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Tua to Tyreek for the Miami first. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They faked the handoff. Now Tua steps away to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. In motion, the tight end. Throwing now is Chugavailoa. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. The Rams offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Second and seven from the 20. Back to throw, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Two yards still to go, third down now. Here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away.
Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. Over the middle to back him. And he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Beckham goes in motion left. Play action, now it's Tua. And Tua going to slide to a halt, but he will have the first down. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now a run by HN. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 89 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. From the gun, it's Tua. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run, HM. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for the Dolphins score. Alec Ingold, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have retaken a third-quarter lead. Well, it was second and goal. You're in there close. That's the fullback's comfort zone. Not only is it his comfort zone, it's an expectation. That's what he's supposed to do. Turn and hand it to him. Big guys fire out. Find your way into the end zone. Sanders now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And where did this one go out? Now they'll start with good field position, 45-yard line. The Dolphins' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga of Iloa. The 20. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Mostert diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that pushes the lead up to 11. One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there. A very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves now Stafford to the sideline and incomplete and that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time he's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down and that's a smart move to throw it away The Rams on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and six. Here's Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Stafford. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. From the 50 at Stafford. Over the middle complete, it's Robinson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 36. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Now Stafford. And the Dolphins' rush gets home. Down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of the rookie from Texas. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now it's Stafford. 
In trouble, and he's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Well, the Dolphins offense and Tyreek Hill set to take over once more, and he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early, and it has paid giant rewards to this stage of the game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Looking to pass to her. He's got a man complete. Now he's into the clear again. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devon Achan. 74 yards and the Dolphins have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter well forget about the weapons out wide he knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game Charles and he utilized him perfectly on that play and the offense coordinator showed me something on that play Brandon because so often during a game our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets and you wonder if they're absorbing anything he had something specific in mind and he went to it, and it worked well. Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And able to get this out to the 25. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Out of the gun, Stafford. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. 
And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the 50, Stafford. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. They run. It's Williams. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. At first glance, I wasn't sure he got it. Then I saw that spot, definitely a first down. It was, but boy, on the other side, you disputed a little bit, wouldn't you? Okay, if you're playing defense, are you sure he got there? But that's why they tell you all the time, don't just get what you need, get a little bit more and take the decision out of the hands of the officials. Well, there he needed a yard. He got a yard and maybe an inch. Only three there on the screen. It's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. From the 46, here's second down and seven. Throwing a Stafford. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Stafford now to throw. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he wisely will throw that one away. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Stafford looks to throw again. And it's caught. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot. Defensively, how do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's gonna have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Kyron Williams with his second touchdown of the night. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. A try here for the extra point. 
And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Dolphins are going to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. A run straight ahead with HM. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. They'll run for it with a chance. And he is going to have a Miami first down, and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. 109 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it.
Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.